Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars with a 1955 Ford F100 shop truck. I like this truck because it looks super cool on the outside and under the hood. A 1988 Crown Victoria donor vehicle has been used for the front end with uh, power steering, power disc brakes on all four wheels. You've got a Mustang rear end, uh, fuel injected V8, starts at the touch of a key. super easy and I love that uh, the original steering wheel, wheel was put back on it I'm finding it a little humorous if you notice it's actually upside down but it's still whatever it's a shop truck and it adds to the character old school 80s shifter on the floor just like we used to remember back in dad's car go right into overdrive this truck's got tons of power steering wheel this is how easy it turns in this cul-de-sac it is uh school time i'm gonna pull up here i have a anticipating a bus school bus brake stop strong straight tons of power out of the engine race car of course this is the same engine that would be in a mustang 88 mustang i believe actually i'm not sure if that's true or not I'll be careful of making that claim here i am opening the hood with one hand and i may be wrong on it being an 88 i want to be careful i guess i'm saying that but i think he, the previous owner told me 88 but i don't know that that's a 5.0 v8 with the overhead cam runs awesome This is the original color of the truck, this blue. I wish the whole truck was a little bit more like that. As usual, these forward hoods don't like to close without a lot of encouragement. I've had a $58,000 F100, 53 F100 one time and I still had to do the exact same thing to the hood. Amazing sounding engine. I mean, absolutely love the aggressive tone. And of course, you know, it's not very expensive to put mufflers on and uh you know quiet that down pretty straight body overall but keep in mind this is a this is a rat rod style shop truck you know um, i'm not saying that you couldn't restore this truck all the way back to looking as original as possible if you wanted to um, i just personally wouldn't want to i'd probably buy a different vehicle to do that with to me the value in this truck is to me, the, at least, is the way that it looks right now. But I have sold trucks like this to body guys who <laughs> uh, emailed me back pictures a year later and said, hey, I took your little rat rod shop truck and made it look brand new again. So that's all up to you. No tailgate, they're, uh, they're affordable. You can uh, get them on lmctrucks.com. I think they run about $189 uh, plus shipping. So glass is all original. You can see the, that it's cloudy bubbling at the bottom i actually like this for rat rods i think the original glass is cool except for the windshield it's got a rock chip and some scratches you can see through it and it's fine but if i was personally keeping this truck i'd probably replace the windshield it's just it looks like i believe it's original so it's got your scratches on it and stuff now that being said i've driven the truck a couple times uh with it you know even if, even in the dark the lights work fine and all that so hinge pockets are in pretty good shape this uh, rocker had been rusted out, and this is a little replacement piece that was put on. Doors. You know, I mean, the thing is, to keep in mind, this is, again, shop truck. Think shop truck and rat rod. A few spots here and there of rust. 
The interesting thing is though, you look at this truck, that's the original cab corner. It's actually in pretty good shape. As I go around the truck, the sides of the uh, bed are flat. Rear fender on the passenger side here is nice and smooth. And actually this door is pretty straight. Front fender as well. Looking around, a little bit of Bondo pops up here, a couple of spots of filler, but nothing all the way through. If we look in the back, you're gonna see steel. So we're not, we're not talking about filling giant holes. There's a spot right there, maybe. But I would say that I think the truck probably has pretty minimal Bondo in it aside from, you know, and here's the nice thing. There's a spot right there. I thought about hitting this with a grinder and just, you know, I, would, I don't know who would have done that back in the day, but if it was me, I'd grind that back out and then just let it rust and put the clear back on it. It has been clear coated with high gloss clear and it looks awesome. This side, the, again, the panels are actually pretty straight, pretty good shape. Bottoms of the doors, a couple of little rust spots on the outside. This cab corner has been replaced with a new one. Shop truck interior. But again, look at the bottom of this door. It's actually in pretty good shape. A little bit of rust here, but it's not all crusty and rusted out. Hinge pockets are also in great shape. This is the original rocker. Looks pretty good. Couple little spots of rust there. Looks like maybe a little bit of filler here in this when the uh, when the uh, cab corner was replaced. Side of the bed. This bed's in great shape. Sides of the bed are perfectly smooth, as well as these. Uh, rear fenders that passenger side and now this driver's side as I'm examining it look really great super smooth and straight I'm about to take back what I said when I started the video and say I think maybe if you wanted to you could make this With this original steel you could at least the bed for sure uh, Make it look pretty straight New paint and all that if you wanted to Dent right here. It looks like something got backed into that'd be pretty easy to pull out Again, though, for me, the value in this truck is as is. Love this old wood bed. It has headlights, taillights, and brake lights, which make it street legal in most states um, for its year. It does not have seat belts in it, but they're very affordable and easy to put in. Old, looks like a marine carpet headliner somebody may have put in years ago. I love this fact that the interior, for the most part, has been kept original um at least i say when i say that the dash has not been all cut up somebody put a tape or a, that may be an eight track player uh looks like a tape player years ago original gauges are not hooked up they do make a uh, kit that you can hook the original gauges up to the engine if you want to and uh, you just you know type in in the website what you've got under the hood how you want to make it match up to the original gauges and the original odometer here, 43,635 miles. So floor pans, we've got a little crust here and there, but overall, a couple of patches, the old uh, master cylinder hole there, doesn't have the cap on it. Floor pan appears to be pretty good over here anyways. Door is actually open and closed. Pretty passenger door and window opens. Windows roll, window rolls easily, and uh, uh, door opens and closes easily. It's a little stiffer on the driver's side, shit slamming the door and rolling the window. I put a little grease on it. It's just a little bit stiff, but it does roll up and down. Love the patina on the inside. This dash looks amazing, and a couple little spots where it's been patched just simple patch you know this is shop definitely shop built shop truck style i believe this may be a newer new front bumper it looks new aside from some peeling paint very very straight really solid underneath like i said you've got rack and pinion steering you know, all the front end from the Crown Vic. These front ends typically are bolted and welded. You'll see the bolts here and then the welds. They look really clean and good. I mean, this is no gas monkey garage build by any means. This is just a Alabama 
garage build. Might what we call it that. Original floor pans here. Cab corners got a that exterior's been fixed and this interior's cab corners rusty still. Inner fender well. You know, we don't meet customers face to face very often, so we try to do the best we can with these videos to show everything that we would be looking at when we're buying it. Just like we hope everything that you'll be looking at. See that one little spot of Bondo right there, a little spot of rust. A little spot of rust right there. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with the way the bed looks. Very, very solid back of the bed, inner, inner fenders look great. Disc brakes on the rear does not have a functional emergency brake. Just park it in auto, uh, in, in automatic transmission and park. Which when you think about it, and I never watched my dad put the emergency brake on in his and his old LTD ever. Parking with the vehicle in auto is pretty normal. See a little light coming through those little rusty spots. Underneath the step side looks really good. Cab corner on this side's original. It's actually pretty good for original considering floor pan on this side you can see that patch that, actually you know what that's not a patch now that I think of it that's the original battery box um, battery holder that's why I was wondering about that up top so this actual original floor pan is in pretty good shape now that I'm giving it a better look up underneath and uh, I'm pretty impressed haven't seen any leaks where it's been parked bottom of the door like I said this rocker was already replaced so Anyways, well, there you have it, a 1955 Ford, and uh, super cool. I like these trucks just the way they are. Um, just like this, I'd drive it, or if I was keeping this truck, I may, uh, I may put some more color back on it, but I like the way of it. I like the idea of, if I could make this truck look like this panel, the entire truck, I'd probably be driving one of my dream trucks. I just love this patina look. I love that color. I love the rust through, and... Uh, you know, you're never worried about taking something like this to Home Depot or somebody opening up the door at a restaurant and hitting your truck. I mean, you're just not even thinking about worrying about something like this like you would, you know, a vehicle you spend two or three times as much as this one is uh, listed for. So, PeachtreeClassicCars.com. We look forward to hearing from you on our 55 Ford or any of the other vehicles that are of your interest.